Hello, um, welcome to our Little Ballers UK Daily Football Workouts. Um, those who don't know, Little Ballers is a football academy based in Gillingham. Um, our main aim is just to promote a fun, a positive attitude towards football from an early age. The aim of these uh, daily workouts is to practice a lot of ball mastery skills, uh, help kids grow in confidence with the football. In turn, that then helps them be a bit more creative on the ball in game situations and when faced with an opponent. So, um, We'll be doing these workouts daily, uh, one a day, 2 p.m. live every day. But I'll also be doing videos like this one, pre-recorded, um, to also post up as well. They'll be similar uh, exercises, similar activities to the ones that are going to be posted live. Um, before we start, obviously, we've got to do a nice warm-up. So when we're doing our warm-up, we're just going to loosen up our muscles, make sure our body's ready for these exercises, make sure our body's ready for the activities so then we can perform these activities at a better standard, a better quality. So we're just going to start off with a little jog on the spot. Nice little jog on the spot. And a little bit of heel flicks. Just loosening up those muscles, getting that blood pumping around our bodies, blood pumping into our muscles. And high knees. Just shake it off a little bit. Let's get circles with our arms now. We can do this whilst we're on a jog as well. And all we're going to do now is open the gates. So we're going to come up and out, and then the other leg. Just going to do a few of them on each leg. Now we're going to close the gate, so we go out and then in. A little bounce in between. Shake it off again. Keep on that jog. And now we're going to kick down the gate. So just a little warm up for you guys. Um, so today's aim, today's um, exercise should I say. We are going to be doing some very basic ones today. Hopefully, children of all ages can join in. Um, start off really slow. Don't worry too much about the intensity right now. But let's uh, try and perfect the technique first and foremost. And once we've got the technique right, we can then look at increasing the intensity. So we're going to do four rounds, five exercises. We're going to do 30 seconds each exercise, 15 second changeover, and then after that we'll have a minute break. Minute rest, sorry. Um, once we've done the four rounds, obviously we've then completed the, um, the daily workout. I'll give you a little bit of an insight into what we're going to do tomorrow so you can practice for the rest of the day. So the first uh, exercise that we're going to do in our first round is going to be soul taps like this. Start off nice and slow, just getting that technique. Then when we do increase our confidence a little bit, we can maybe go a little bit quicker. Okay, we're going to do 30 seconds of that, 15 seconds changeover, then we're going to go into scissors. Okay, scissors is just around the, around the ball, around the front of the ball. On the outside, get that technique right. We can go a little bit quicker if we like, whilst we're hopping as well. Third exercise is going to be our insides. So all it is, you're going to be using the inside of your feet to tap the ball side to side. Go nice and slow, get that technique right, and then maybe we can increase intensity again once we get a bit more confident, a bit more comfortable. Fourth exercise is our drag across. Ball can start out to the right of you, right foot on the ball, roll it across to your left and so forth, okay? Nice and simple, rolling it from side to side, back to back, and one foot to the other. And the fifth exercise is our freestyle. So that's as many touches as you can on the ball, lots of little touches, change the direction of the ball, keeping it nice and close, using different parts of your foot, inside to the outside, to laces, the sole of your foot, all these different touches. Okay, so there are five exercises. As I say, we're gonna do 30 seconds of each exercise, we have a 15 second change over period. That gives us two and a half minutes of actual exercise, a minute break, and then we'll go for round two, where we're gonna increase the intensity, okay? Just gonna start the timer, and we're good to go. Two, 
one, off we go, soul taps in. Focus on that football, soul of that foot touching that ball for eight seconds. Nice and slow to start off with, get that right technique. Make sure you're nice and confident doing it, and then we can increase the intensity once we're a bit more confident. Keep going. Two seconds, one second, and stop. 15 seconds, step overs, neck, or scissors next, shall I say. Okay, little rest, five second rest. Or well, five seconds now, shall I say. Four, three, two, one, off we go. Scissors. Take your time, make sure we're going around that ball, around the front to the ball, out to the outside of the ball. How many can you do? Making sure you keep it nice and controlled, keeping that technique right. Five seconds then. Really get some legs working and hold it there. Next one's gonna be our insides. Um, looking all side to side, this one can be quite tricky. So please take your time. Don't worry about too much speed that you're doing it at. Take your time a bit, keep it nice and controlled. Ready? Let's go, insides. Make sure you're concentrating on that football. Looking at it side to side. Take your time. Get a nice wide stance if you have to. It might be slightly easier for you. Make sure you're on the balls of the feet. So not flat footed. Well done. It's our third exercise. Fourth one is our drag across. Again, slow intensity. Just make sure you're rolling it across the other foot. Roll it back across again. Okay, three, two, one. Off we go. Again, keeping on the balls of your feet. Take your time, twist it like I just did, back to normal. Do make a mistake, go back to start and carry on. Ooh. Well done. Exercise five is our freestyle. You should feel them legs working a little bit harder now. Aching the muscles a little bit, but freestyle. Lots of little touches, as many touches as you can on the ball. We ready? Let's go. Lots of little touches, different parts of your foot. Freestyle, 30 seconds. How many times can you touch the ball? Different parts of your foot. Change the direction of the ball. You might use the inside of your foot. Might want to use the outside. Might want to use the inside through your legs. All these different touches you can do with the ball. Just keep those legs moving. Get that mud, some heart, blood pumping around our bodies, into our muscles. Lots of little touches. Okay, so now we've got a minute rest. Um, get your drinks on board. Make sure we're staying nice and hydrated. Make sure those muscles are nice and loose. Ready for our next exercise. Still got another 45 seconds. Ignore the bleep. Get your breath back. You'll notice that your heart's beating a little bit quicker. Your breathing's getting a little bit heavier. Just, uh, just means that your blood's pumping a little bit faster around your body. Getting that blood into our muscles getting our muscles ready for these exercises that we're doing. What we're gonna do round two is now set ourselves a target, okay? So with each exercise, hopefully you feel a bit more confident, a bit more comfortable with each exercise. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna count the amount of times we do the target, okay? So we've got 15 seconds before we get back going. Soul touch, for instance, how many soul touch can you do in 30 seconds? Right, set yourself a target. Again, please focus on the technique, not so much the intensity just yet. We're ready? Let's go, one, two. Six 
So set my target for 65 on the sole taps. Next time I can I beat that target. So if you've got 40, fantastic. Next time can you beat 40? Same with the scissors. How many scissors can we do in that 30 seconds? Ready? Let's go. Three seconds left. Okay, I lost count a little bit there. I think it was 47. So that's my target now for the next two rounds. Can I beat 47? Next one's our insides. Again, please focus on your technique, not so much the intensity. Take your time, set yourself a reasonable target. Ten seconds. Seventy-seven, I think. So um, that's our inside. Set my target now for the next time as well. Drags across again. Focus on your technique more than anything here. Make sure it's dragging right across your body from one side over to the next. Done. Okay, last one is our freestyle. The target you're going to set here is how many times can you touch the ball in this 30 seconds? How many times? Let as many touches as you can, different parts of your foot. All these skills together. I've actually lost count. Not really been counting. Two seconds and end of round two. Get yourself your drinks on board. Make sure you're staying hydrated. That's halfway there, guys. You've set yourself targets now. With those targets, these next two rounds, can you beat the targets that you set yourself? So I think it was 65. Soul taps, so my aim now for these next two rounds is to beat 65. Step overs, I think it was 70, what was it, 47 maybe? Can't remember off the top of my head. So you need, might need to write it down and let your pet grow up so nice so they give you that target. So next time, can I beat that? Um, the insides, I think it was 77. Um, drags across slightly less, about half of that, and then obviously freestyle touches. So you've got your targets. These next two rounds, your aim is to beat those targets that you set yourself. Okay, right, five, four seconds, three, two, one, soul taps, ready, let's go. Can you beat your target? pretty confident now I did beat my target hopefully you guys did as well but hopefully your technique was correct and that will obviously help you beat your target because you're doing it right um scissors next you ready Off we go
Well done. Um, moving straight onto our insides. Again, remember, please focus on the technique. Nice wide stern so we can knock it side to side. Penguin feet, we like to call this one as well. Um, if you might know it as that, especially our younger ones will know this as penguin feet. Can you beat that target that you set yourself again? It's all about challenging yourself to get better, to improve, concentrate. I lost a bit of concentration there. Make sure we are focusing on the ball, focusing on our task ahead. Well done. Um, my fitness is starting to show a little bit now. Straight over to drag to cross. You set yourself your target again. Ask your grown up to remind you if you need to. Can you beat it this time around? First time trying to beat it. Let's go. Five seconds. Well done. Right, last one of round three. It's our freestyle. This one obviously is a little bit of fun. So make sure we're touching the ball as many times as we can. Getting those legs moving again. Staying on the balls of our feet. Lots of little touches. Ready? Let's go. Using different parts of your feet. Step over the ball, step around the ball. Absolutely fine. Take it back, take it to the side. Lots of little touches, all these little touches, as many times as you can on the ball. So I've got the balls of your feet, make sure you're moving that ball as many times as you can. Lots of little touches. Well done. Round three complete. We've got one more round, guys. One more round, get us through. You've set your targets, get your drinks on board again. Um, Got a minute rest, we've got 45 seconds now. Rest before we go on to our final round. Uh, you've got your final targets. If you beat your targets last round, fantastic. Can you now beat that target that you set again? All right, so your best one, can you beat that one? Final round, give everything you've got, guys. Two and a half more minutes work left, and then we are done for the day. So work hard, concentrate, make sure that we are ready. Um, make sure that we are practicing. We're improving. Um, good luck with your last round. Okay, 15 more seconds before we get started. Make sure you're ready, guys. Get your drinks on board. Right, what we've got? Five seconds. Ready? Beat those targets. Let's go. As fast as you can now, intensity really increases. Hopefully, we've got that form a little bit better, that technique's better. So now we can actually perfect it and we can improve our scores. Sweat's dripping off me. I've not actually been counting. Keep up this intensity. It's getting difficult. Keep pushing yourself through. Well done. First exercise done, complete. Second one now, scissors. Last time doing this. Can you get, can you beat your task that you set yourself, your, ta your target that you set yourself? Ready? Off we go. Legs are getting tired now. Push through it. Show that resilience. Persevere. Keep pushing through them barriers, those walls. Keep going. Two seconds. Ooh. Well done, well done. Three more exercises left, and then we are complete. Next one is our ins uh, insides, yes. So we're ready. Again, beat your target, let's go. Oh, 
well done, well done, really good. Didn't speak that much at that time. Concentrating a lot, trying to perfect it. Um, drags across. Last one at this one, make sure you're dragging it from side to side, right across your body. Concentrate on that ball. Create some intensity if you can. Last five seconds. Well done. Really good, guys. Really well done. Last one now is our freestyle. Finish it off with a bang, shall we? Lots of touches. So I'm setting you a target now. I came to touch ball at least 60 times in this eight seconds. Ready? Let's go. Any parts of your foot that you want, touch the ball as many times as you can, using different parts of your foot, making sure we can change direction as well. Lots of little touches. Last 10 seconds, we're done. Last 10 seconds, lots of touches. Oh, well done. Give yourself a clap, guys. Really, really good. Um, That is our workout complete. Uh, make sure we're just stretching off, guys. Don't want to now go off without stretching. Um, so we're just gonna leg shoulder width apart a little bit. Okay, just gonna go down to the middle, nice and low, guys. Low as you can without bending those legs. And I want you to hold the stretch. Hold it there. Well done. Shake it off a little bit. What we're gonna do now, legs a little bit further apart this time. One of them is going to turn facing the side. I'm going to bend that one, opening those groins a little bit, just stretching those groins out. Well done, change sides for me. Hopefully you found that quite tricky, a little bit challenging, but hopefully you enjoyed it as well. Keep practicing all those exercises that we do. This one's a bit about balance, this one. Hopefully some of you are better than me. Pull it in for me, as you can see. Pull it right in. Well done, change over. You've obviously got five exercises now that you can practice outside of this workout. Tomorrow we are gonna practice some different exercises. Uh, one or two of them is a bit progression on from today. So, a challenge, so if you found some of them easy today, we are gonna progress them on tomorrow. Um, now, one leg in front of you guys. Bend that one in front. Keep that back one nice and straight. If I do it from the side, you should see here. Back one nice and straight. Just stretching out. Shake it off. Stretch that arm across. Last stretch we'll do, and then what I'll do, I'm gonna run through the exercises that we're gonna do tomorrow, give you a little bit of an insight what we're gonna do. Maybe you can practice them today or tomorrow morning. So you've got a little bit of a better understanding for it, okay? Well done. Um, so, tomorrow, first exercise that we're going to do is our sole taps again. However, this time, slight progression. So if you found that easy, just to do a normal sole taps, can we now do it around in a circle? So sole taps in a circle, which is a little bit of a drag to the side, and stop the other one. Okay, you might want to go around the other way. I'm going to try and do it in a circle. That's our tomorrow's one, if the first one was too easy. If, if normal sole taps, if you feel like that was you're comfortable doing that and you're confident doing that and you don't want to try the other one that's perfectly fine we'll stick to that one for you but there's a progression for those that do want to challenge yourself a little bit next one instead of scissors tomorrow we're going to do our step overs so instead of going around the ball like we did today we're going to go over the ball almost like we're going to kick the ball that's our exercise two okay um exercise three bear with me is our inside and outside of our right foot. So we're just going to go inside, outside. So we're introducing the outside as well. We today we'll use this a lot on our inside. Inside and outside using just one foot, so our right foot. Full foot exercise is exactly the same, but using our left foot. Okay, so we're going to go inside, outside, trying to improve that weaker foot as well. Lots of little touches to make sure we're staying on our bones with our feet, low centre of gravity. That's exercise four. Next five is again 
is our freestyle, okay? So, I know what that one is. Um, but yeah, that's our five exercises for tomorrow. So hopefully you can practice them today, tomorrow morning. Thank you for tuning in, guys. Um, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to our page. Um, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like us on Facebook. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Thank you very much. See you all soon.